Well, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tim Laskus, and you're listening to The Tim Laskus Show. This is episode 91 with Tom Schwab. And Tom gives some great tips today. He's the founder of Interview Valet, which is a premium podcast guest marketing agency. And they provide the fastest way for executives, businesses, and thought leaders to maximize the benefits of podcasting. If you've listened to some of my prior episodes, you've heard me rave about podcasting, what it's done for me as a podcaster, but also it does incredible things for guests. So I hope you enjoy this episode. The Tim Laska Show, in search of entrepreneurial gold. Tim digs deep into the minds of his guests. Entertaining, down to earth, and informative. Now, here's your host, Tim Laskus. Hi, Tom. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, so what are you doing up in Kalamazoo, Michigan when you're not working? What do you do for fun? Oh, that's excellent. Now, do you run into snow even when it's cold up there? Absolutely. And shake off some of that cabin to fever. So I can certainly appreciate that. So Tom, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself professionally and what are you currently working on? Well, share your your kind of insight into podcasting and tell the listeners a little bit about, you know, your kind of first experience listening to a podcast and where do you think podcast is going?
Okay. Yeah, I don't think podcasting is going anywhere. I think it's going to be here for quite a while. And as the technology continues to get better and where people can easily you know, have access to podcast shows, um, you know, now with the car manufacturers having that opportunity to, you know, listen. I mean, we can already listen to a podcast within our car, but just to have a button that we just push and then it uh, automatically pulls up, you know, a particular show that we're interested in makes it so much easier. It has to be very, very easy to use and, and people love that. Yeah, absolutely. It, it does. It gives us freedom. You know, we we love to be able to multitask and and exercise and do different things. And even you know, where we're sitting and reading the news, I can you know have a podcast going and listen to that as as well. So I I enjoy it. So you know, what gave you the idea to actually open Interview Valet? What when did it start, and what was that kind of aha moment for you? Well, I like that you mentioned telling a story because I, I think that's that really is what grabs the attention of those. It's the story and and being able to listen to a podcast and listen to someone's story on a variety of topics is is what really brings people in. And it's again, it's so easy. You can do it while you do other things. And so that that's a great story that you shared about, you know, how you had that moment when when you started now. You know, starting a business for you is not new and you it sounds like, you know, you've already been there, you've built a business, you sold it. What are a couple of tips that you would have for some of the kind of new entrepreneurs out there in starting their own businesses?
Well, I like that, how, how you kind of reshaped that and flipped it from, you know, make it a learning experience. And, you know, if you can learn from it, then it wasn't a catastrophe. It's, it's always, yes, we, we don't want to go through hard times, but if you can flip it into a learning experience, it certainly has, makes it much more worthwhile. And then you, you mentioned just to kind of recap is don't get stuck in the details. And I think that's what stops a lot of people from actually just starting is they just get caught up and overwhelmed in details and they don't know where to really begin instead of just jumping right in. And then the next is you, you talked about, you know, today is the best time. And, and I love that because a lot of people are just kind of waiting. Well, I don't know if the market's right. I don't know if the, you know, is there a demand? Is there a customer base? Well, you just got to jump in and find out. And that's where it really begins. Now, Tom, when did you realize that that you were kind of an entrepreneur and you had this entrepreneurial spirit? Well, and and that's a great way of looking at it because a lot of times it's people have that mentality of, well, I'm just going to work, put in my time and then I'll retire and then off into the sunset. But, you know, you, so you spent the majority of your life when you were in somewhat good health and now maybe you can retire, but, you know, do you have the physical energy or, or ability or you on a kind of very tight budget to be able to do anything? And so you just kind of, you know, look back and go, oh man, and, and, Instead of taking the, the reins and putting it back into, all right, I'm going to take control and I'm going to have fun right now and be able to, to make a living is a, is a wonderful way to, to look at it. Now, Tom, let's go into the dig round where I'm going to ask you some a couple of questions and just kind of give me the first thing that comes to mind and what keeps you motivated? Okay, now who do you look up to as a business leader? A great choice. Now you have to choose one: street smarts or book smarts. 
Which is it? Mm, great answer. Now, since you went out on your own, you've, you've started multiple companies. I'm sure there was a time when mentally you were just drained and maybe found yourself in a position where you didn't know you could go forward. Can you describe a moment like that? And what did you do to pull yourself out? Well put. Well, so it sounds like you kind of have an extrovert personality. You get recharged by being around others. <laughs> now, looking back, Tom, what do you think has been the most fulfilling moment of your entrepreneurial journey? Yes, for sure. Well, and again, it's not the quantity, but it's the quality of those relationships. And you're so right that, you know, that's what really keeps you going. And um, so many people at times kind of have their priorities mixed up where they think, well, I've got to chase the money. Um, but it's really the relationships. And, and if you take care of those around you, your customers, your employees, your family, the money will come. And, and that's that's the real kind of true answer there. Well, Tom, this has been a fantastic interview. And unfortunately, we've come to the end of the show. But before we go, where can the listeners find you online and on social media?
Excellent. Thank you very much, Tom. And hey, maybe I'll come up to Michigan and we'll go running sometime. That'd be fantastic. All right. Take care. Want more entrepreneurial tips? Go to timnaskus.com.